Hey, what is going on guys, it's Starshay and today we're back with another Game of Thrones Conquest video. As you can see by the title, this is basically going to be a basic armory guide for all you new players or people that just don't understand the armory and you guys want to get the basic knowledge so you guys have a, some clue about what to do. So if you guys enjoy this video, if it's helpful, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are looking for pack loaders, all farmers, go and check out Oxygen Bazaar. I will put a link to his Discord server down below in the pinned comment. Anyway, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys two different ways to do your armory. One is going to be for like the players like me who do not spend a lot or who if they do spend they only buy one or two packs maybe a week. They don't go and spend all the time and they don't go spend big amounts. And then the second way I'm going to be giving you is for those of you guys who do spend a lot and you'll have the money to actually build your armory properly with a whole bunch of buffs and it's going to cost you a lot but in the end it will pay out. Your troops will be strong and they won't be paper. So let's just go to smithy, go to armory, and we have our trinket armory and we have our event gear armory. So I'm just going to be focusing on the event gear armory because this is the more important one. It's got a lot more to do and uh, yeah, it's just a lot more sets to fill. So the first thing to do now, if you are free to play player, or even if you're not a free to play player, but you spend very less or you spend only spend a year and there, you know, you're not a big spender, so you don't really have a lot of money to throw into this game. Then what I would recommend, so if you go to manage armory, you will see it has three buffs and they want the first buff to unlock it requires two plus legendary. The second one requires four plus fine and the third one requires six plus poor. So basically to unlock all three buffs, the minimum requirements you need that I would recommend going for is you need two legendary pieces and then you need four plus fine pieces. So four plus fine pieces means four blue pieces. I tend to go and use four purple pieces and I gamble them up and sometimes they do drop down to blue. I do have one piece that dropped to green but yeah basically you just try to have four plus fine pieces and you'll be all good so as you can see like this one here one of my pieces did unfortunately drop to green but it's okay so yeah that is the minimum you need to unlock all your bonuses so to make sure every bonus in your armory or in each uh, separate collection is unlocked you have to have two legendary and four plus fine so for me i just go two legendary two purple two blue or two legendary and four purple which i then gamble up so yeah, so for all you guys that are, you know, small spending stuff, that's what you're going to do. You'll go, you'll make yourself a set of, so let's just go to an armory that's like that, like this, okay. So you'll go, you make yourself two uh, level 5 legendary pieces. So as you can see, I have one level 5 legendary, two level 5 legendary pieces. If I take one out, also you'll see that by removing it from my armory, if it will remove, there you go, you'll see it, it removes the mod size because it needs... 2 plus legendary and it also removes that first bonus because you have to have all six pieces there so i put that back in and it takes that there if i remove just like one of these blue pieces then you'll see it only uh, removes that i still get my other bonuses let me just put that back so this is basically what you're going to do you'll make yourself two level five legendary pieces and put them in your armory then you'll make yourself two purple pieces and I would recommend starting off making them at level 20 at least or level 25. It's just going to save you a lot of math. But if you just want to do it the, you know, if you don't want to do that and you just want to start off low, then make yourself two level five purple pieces and two level five blue pieces. Or I would recommend making them all blue pieces. I mean, not blue pieces, all purple pieces or higher even if you want. If you have the materials or you have the templates for that, then go ahead. But your minimum would be two legendary pieces, two purple pieces and two blue pieces. Then you upgrade them when you have the materials. So if you have enough materials and a crafting event comes around, you upgrade one of those pieces maybe to level 10 or 20 or 25. Or if you start off all with level 20s, then that's good. You'll have two level 5 pieces that are legendary, two purple 20s, two blue 20s, or all four purple 20s. And then when you have uh, materials for that, you can always upgrade them to 25, 30, 35 eventually. So that is just the free to play method of doing it. You make sure you just meet the minimum bonuses. And then when you have materials, you upgrade them. You upgrade one piece a level or two, or you upgrade all your pieces by a level if you can. Because remember, the higher the level and the higher the rarity, the more collection points it gives you. So if I look at this level 20 blue piece, it gives me 380. If I look at a level 20 purple piece, it gives me 580. But now if I go to a different armory, so for example, if I go to this armory, and I look at a level 20 blue, it's 380. But if I look at a level 15 purple, it's 180. So because it's a lower level, it does give less even though the rarity is higher. But obviously, just always aim for the highest possible level and the highest possible rarity you can get. 
So that's your free to play guide or your low spender guide. Now for those of you guys who are gonna spend a just a absolute ton of money on the game and you'll don't mind you spending money on your armory and getting it right, but if you do not have the knowledge, like if you do not have the time to spend learning how to gamble and do all the extremely, extremely uh, difficult stuff with your gambles and uh, using basic uh, basic gear pieces as, te as templates and stuff, then what I recommend you do is you just go and you make yourself six pieces of level five legendary gear. So by having six pieces of level five leg legendary gear, all your bonuses will be unlocked. Then all you do is you take one piece so one of your level 5 legendary pieces and you upgrade it as far as you can. So if you're buying a ton of packs now, this is easy for you. So you go you upgrade it straight to 35. So you'll have 5 level 5 legendary pieces and 1 level 35 legendary pieces. What this does is it will make sure your collection level is 162. That 135 piece alone will take your collection level to 162. That, that's a pretty good point for you guys, especially before Kingdom Merge. So you'll have a level 162 collection level, you'll have 1 level 35 legendary piece and you'll have 5 level 5 legendary pieces. Then when you have more money, because you're going to have to do this for each of your collection sets. So for each collection set, you're going to be putting that you'll have 5 legendary level 5s, 1 level 35. 5 legendary 5s, 1 level 35. 5 legendary 5s, 1 leg 35. 5 leg 5s, 1 leg 35. And you'll continue doing that for each armory. And then let's say you want to focus on like let's say you are a cav player so if you're a cav okay, let's just say infantry if you're an infantry player and you're focusing on your infantry then what you'll end up doing is eventually when you've sorted all your armies out and now you want to push past the, that collection level 162 benchmark that you've reached because remember all your collection levels with 135 legendary piece and five level five legendary pieces they will all hit level collection level 162 which will give you some pretty nice bonuses but now when you want to break that benchmark and push up then you all you do is either you upgrade that level 35 legendary piece or level 40 legendary piece if your house level is high enough and you've unlocked level 40s if not then all you do is you go you take a second piece of so your second legendary piece of gear you go and you upgrade that to level 35 now so when that's done you'll have two legendary 35s and you have four legendary level fives and you can continue doing that so if you so eventually you spend more money you spend more money you know you keep on buying crafting packs so you have two level 35 legendary pieces now and you have four level five legendary pieces and you want to push that uh collection uh, level even higher you want to make sure your bonuses from that specific collection set are even better you go and you take a third piece and you push that to level 35 because at level 35 they give you like 617,000 collection points i believe from a level uh 35 legendary piece so but now if you've unlocked level 40 pieces obviously you can go and do that so let's say by now you've got three level uh, 35 legendary pieces, uh, 3 level 5 legendary pieces. You can take one of those pieces and upgrade them straight to a level 40 legendary piece. And then if you want, you can upgrade the second one and the third one. Obviously, as you upgrade to the higher rarity, well, the rarity will be the same here because you'll be sticking with legendaries no matter what. As you upgrade your levels, the points will literally double. So that is basically how you can do it. So just a quick recap now. For you guys that are small spenders or free to play, all you do is you go and you try get something like this. So you have two level, you have two level five legendary pieces, and then you either go for four purple pieces, or two purple pieces and two blue pieces, which you upgrade whenever you can. And then for those of you guys who are spending a lot, you go simply for five, I mean for six level five legendary pieces, aka every piece you put in your armory must be a level five legendary. And then you upgrade one piece to level 35, which takes you to collection level 162. You can then either make a second piece level 35 and push your collection level up that way. Or if you've unlocked a high enough house level, you can upgrade your level, your level 35 legendary piece to a level 40 legendary piece. And then you just keep upgrading like that. So instead of to get like right here i have uh, six pieces of level 20 legendary gear and my collection level is only 115. if all of these pieces were level 5 and only one of these pieces was 35 my collection level would be 162. so yeah that just shows you how how uh, how many how many more collection points you get from that high level legendary piece so if you guys did enjoy this video please please guys hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. If my videos are bad or if I stop posting content you like, you can always unsubscribe later. If you have any questions at all, or if you have any advice, like uh, or if you have any questions about what I said in this video or any further questions about, you know, you have any further questions about crafting or about the armory, then please leave it down below in the description. I mean, in the comment section. If you guys have any advice, like you think maybe there's a better way to do this, 
then leave that in the comment section as well and I'll get back to you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll probably do a crafting guide, a basic crafting guide for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.